Yeah, I guess we are live now. Uh, hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. Today we are going to do a very important session that is on ISLM curve. Very important uh, session on economics for the SEBI grade A exam. Uh, let me just uh, share uh, the link uh, for this live session on uh, my telegram channel. Let me just share uh, we, are, we are live now. Okay. So let's just start the session. Okay. If there is any doubt in your mind, just ask your doubts. Okay. In the super chat. So let's just start the session. Mm, okay. I guess everything is, yeah, everything is working properly. So ISLM curve, first of all, you should understand the ISLM curve. So let's start with the IS curve. See students, uh, what happens uh, in the, in, to the economy, if the interest, the, what is the effect, effect of interest rate in the economy? Uh, that's what uh, this ILM, uh, the ISLM curve uh, says. If let's say the interest rate, if the interest rate, if the interest rate, let's say decreases, if the interest rate declines. So let's say if the interest rate was 12%, now the interest rate is 6%. What would you do? There is less motivation to save the money, to keep that money in the FDs in the saving bank account, right? So uh, previously you were getting 12% interest. Now you're getting 6% interest. There is no motivation to save the money. What would you do with that money? You will spend, you will spend that money. If lot of, if, if, if a lot of people th start thinking like you, the demand, the overall demand in the economy will increase and the GDP would increase. Okay. So if the interest rate is declining, if the interest rate is declining, uh, you're going to spend more money, there will be more demand in the economy, and the GDP will would increase, right? So that's why this is the IS curve. So let's say at 12%, at 12%, uh, 12%, that was the GDP, okay, so that line won't be straight, okay. But when this interest rate goes to let's say six percent now it is it was 12 percent now it is six percent okay now see what will happen people will start spending more money the gdp would increase so the gdp actually increased okay as the interest rate declines people they they hesitate to you know save money they actually uh, spend their money if the interest rate falls there is no motivation to save their money okay so let's let's move forward uh, what is an lm curve so let's say if the interest rate increases let's say the interest rate is 6% let's say if it is increased to 12% what will happen you will get motivation to in, to save your money and invest your money to start an fp you will be motivated yes i should invest more money i should make more money okay so what would you do you will save more you will invest more where that money would go so as the savings savings would increase that savings would be would go to banks and the there is more liquidity in the economy there will be more liquidity in the economy the banks would be having more money with them and the businesses would get more money okay the businesses would get more money okay so what what will what is the impact of that as the businesses are having more money the supply would increase the overall supply would increase the supply the overall supply would increase that will lead to the uh, imp the increase in gdp that will widen the gdp as the more goods are produced in the economy more goods and services are produced in the economy if there is not enough demand the prices would fall okay so the impact of increase in supply the prices would fall the gdp would increase anyway so that is the lm curve at let's say six percent this is six percent now uh, it is twelve percent okay more people would be saving their money uh, businesses would get more loans so the G uh, the supply would increase so the gdp would increase okay so now you would say uh, now you would say sir in that uh, is and lm curve the what is this i mean they are like conflicting yes that's what that's what it is the i mean the the central the federal bank of that country uh, rbi in our case right they need to uh, find a balance i know it's very complicated for them but here it is like to understand uh, the impact of interest rate on our gdp that diagram is enough for you right to understand the impact of interest rate 
on the GTP that is IS curve it is downward sloping and LM curve is upward sloping so that is the ideal point that at this interest rate the GDP would be maximum right so that is the uh, equilibrium point that is the equilibrium point of interest rate at output when money market and real economy they are in balance at that point the money market and the real economy they'll be at a balance that is the best point should we move forward to the questions now it's time time to answer the questions i have already uh, i'll give you 30 seconds to answer the questions you'll get 30 seconds to answer the question please like the video that's really really important to me please like the video now you get 30 seconds to answer the question i know there is a lot of background noise here I think it's okay. Uh, please manage. So, uh, ISLM model is also known as which is the following. I, I know many but I know but Hicks Hanson model. This is Hicks and Hanson model is a very uh, is a correct answer. It was not there in that uh, session, but uh, in the lecture, but Hicks and Hanson model. Now you'll remember it. The next question, very important question. Uh, the ISLM curves are plotted on graph uh, between what and what uh, x axis pe kya hota hai, y axis pe kya hota hai. What is in the x axis? What is in the y axis? You should know it. What is in the x axis? What is in the y axis? Kya draw kiya tha I mean, please remember the graph. I mean, what axis pe kya tha? You should know that. It's very very important. You should know that. Um, give me your answers. Yep, I'm waiting for your answers. Anybody, anybody with the correct answer? Anybody with the correct answer? I think I should give answer first. So give it a look. Give it a look. What was here? It was interest rate and it was GDP. Okay. Interest rate and GDP. Quite easy. Very easy. Okay. Interest rate and GDP. That's what we plotted. Very important question. Now the next question for you. Again, 30 seconds. ISLM curve model shows the interaction between what and what okay which of the following options are correct forex goods market financial market and forex market goods and the financial market so what is correct what is in uh, see i mean the relationship between interest rate and the gdp of the economy okay it's all about what supply of products supply of products uh it's it's a relationship between interest rate the liquidity in the economy the interest rate and the total supply the total supply supply of goods and services what is the impact of interest rate o on overall supply of goods and services okay so the correct answer let's just forget about it let me i already told you interest rate what is interest rate it is a financial market interest rate we are talking when we are talking about interest rate it's obviously not forex market it is the financial market when we are talking about supply of goods and services we are talking about goods so c is the correct answer okay now this one you need to answer this i mean i want you to answer this this is your turn i'm giving you like 30 seconds give me your correct answer in the super chat it's not uh, goods and money market but so give me your correct answer uh, money market, financial market, okay. Uh, financial market is a better answer, I would say. Money market is not a better answer. So, give me the correct answer if you know it. Um, anybody? Anybody? Uh, with the answer of like uh, question number four, just give me your answer. Now it's my turn. The interest rate, when the interest rate rises, which of the following is true? When the interest rate rises, uh, see, I gave you this thing, I mean, when the interest rate rises, when the interest rate rises, okay, when the interest rate rises, what will happen? People will save more. So 6% to 12%, you have more, you have motivation to save more because there is more reward. You'll be saving more money. So from 6% to 12%, you have more reward and you'll be saving more money. Okay, so you have reward, the household saving would increase, okay. If the interest rate falls, the household expenditure would increase because you don't have the motivation. You don't have a reward for saving your money. So which of the following? Uh, let me give you like some time to read the question and to understand the question. Let me give you like 30 seconds, which uh, nota means none of the above. Let me give you like 30 seconds. Okay. 
so that you can understand the question which of the following leads to an uh, to increase liquidity in the financial market low interest rate high interest rate there is no impact of interest rate on liquidity in the financial market so impact of increased liquidity in the financial market if you know the correct answer give me the correct answer the impact of increased liquidity so what is the impact it is be high interest rate uh, see with the increase in the interest rate people tend to save more increase in interest rate people tend to save more hence liquidity in the financial market would increase and people will buy more people uh, would buy more there will be more saving fund flow in the economy so b is the correct answer high interest rate okay liquidity rises people will spend more okay that's all students i hope you like the today's session uh, the sebi grade 2020 course my name is raman deep singh i'm already doing this course on bank exams today.com you can install the bank exams today mobile app or you can go to bank exams today.com we are providing the video classes Proper notes based on the latest syllabus, test series is also included in the course, downloadable notes, descriptive paper evaluation service is also there. We got 12 final selections in SEBI grade A 2018 out of 47 students. The list of, uh, this is me actually, I'm teaching from last 8 years. This is my WhatsApp number. It's really easy to reach me. List of students who cracked RBA grade B, SEBI grade A uh, 2018, uh, IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2, Scale 3. Uh, Bank of Baroda, Nabad Grade, all these wounds are used as study material resources and they finally crack the particular exams. So bank exams today is methodology, video classes, we start with video classes and the concepts uh, and we provide the proper notes for that which is followed by the live quizzes, sometimes it's live and then in the app there are normal quizzes and followed by the test series and yes I do the revision sessions that is also this class is actually a sort of revision class right a demo class as well. So thank you. Join my course, the SEBI Grade 2020 course. The link is, all the links are available in the description. Link to my previous 33 sessions is available in the description. Link to the free PDF, free study material PDF, free question bank is also available in the description. Everything, all the links are available in the description. Follow me on Telegram. My Telegram channel name is Bank Exams Today. Subscribe this channel. Very important. Like this video. This is my WhatsApp number. This is my email address. Go to my blog bankexamstudy.com. If there is any doubt, always ask your doubts. Let me just check if there is any doubt in your mind. I guess there shouldn't be any doubt. Doubt up the last question. Okay. Okay. Which of the following leads to increased liquidity in the... See, I mean, this is the first question. Uh, see, read this for the last question. Please read this with the increase in interest rate. If interest rate increase, it people tend to invest more. Hence, the liquidity in the market, financial market increases. Okay, so what is liquidity in the financial market? That that means more money, more money in the financial market, more money with the banks, with the financial institutes. Okay, uh, that means there is uh, higher liquidity. When uh, that situation occurs, if the interest rate is higher, people will save more, people will invest more, people will put that money in the banks, people will put that money in the FDs, in the saving bank accounts to earn more interest. Okay, so there will be higher liquidity in the economy, there will be higher equity, there will be better liquidity in the economy. That's what I wanted to explain leads to increased liquidity as if the interest rate is high, if the interest rate is high savings would be high savings would be high people would save more people would invest more where would they invest they'll invest in the financial market so money goes to the financial markets and there will be more liquidity okay samajh aa gaya bolo ha bolo phir main band karunga porush got it because the money supply i hope you got it so that's all nahi samajh aaya mai whatsapp kar dena theek hai so that's all for today students i hope you like the today's uh, uh, the today's session very easy class okay so join my course sebi grade 2020 course i am doing it on bankexamstudy.com and yes i have also started the course for legal legal officer course i have started separately and that's also available on bankexamstudy.com so i hope everybody i mean uh, you got uh, uh, so i hope i hope you got the answers now uh so if there is any other doubt just whatsapp me okay so thank you and have a very very nice day good good night to be hui nahi hai